With most people getting their character selectors this morning in Wuthering Waves, you're probably wondering which five star character should you be selecting. And while this can be subjective per account, depending on what you got from your novice banner on Wuthering Waves, there is a few options that I think are clearly the right choice for this selector. So let's go in and take a look at it. But before we do, make sure to drop a like and subscribe on the channel, guys, for more Wuthering Waves content. Let's switch over to our nice little tier list view here. As you can see along the bottom, we got Jian Shin, Lin Yan, Cal Charo, Verena, and Encore. We've got two very clear support units and three main DPS units that you can keep on your account. Now, I'm always going to preface a video like this with pull and or grab whoever you want. Always pick the character that you think you're going to have the most fun with or the character that you like the most. That is 100% how I will be picking from the five star selector. So I'm just going to jump out ahead of that and say, always pick the one you're going to have the most fun with because if you pick a character for meta, meta is temporary, waifu is forever. So always make sure to pick the one that you want and you're going to have the most fun with. I always think you should pick the character you're going to have the most fun with because somebody may be the most busted meta unit, but if you hate playing them with every fiber of your being, you're still going to not have a great time while playing the game. So always keep that in mind when you're making this decision. Sometimes the meta units can win you over a little bit through their utility, but I still think picking the characters you like more is always the better option. We're just at the beginning of this game, guys. There's going to be more characters and more opportunities for more characters in the future. But knowing that in our context, what do I think is the best choice for most people's account? Well, let's talk about it. Now, whenever you're looking at the value of characters within a gacha game, you have to gauge based on their role and what they're going to offer. Now, I always think that main DPS and hyper carry units usually are the units that get power crept the fastest. There's usually more efficient units, units that have higher scaling based on their ability, or just do that hyper carry role just a little bit better. Now there's no guarantees that's what's going to happen in this case with Wuthering Waves, but just historically from other gacha games, it's what we can expect. Now personally, I think if you are going to pick a main DPS unit, I think Cal Charo is the clear winner. Reason being, he is a very great, very powerful main lightning DPS unit that you can use on your account. And Yin Lin's banner is coming next on the limited banner. She is a great support unit for Cal Charo. She's a great sub lightning DPS unit and off field DPS unit that they just synergize basically perfectly. So if you're like me and you were a Gion skipper because you want Yin Lin, Calcharo is a clear choice that you're going to want to bring onto your account in that case. If it comes to the other main DPS units with Lin Yan or in Encore in this case, both of these units are totally fine. If you really like the characters, they do their jobs well enough. Lin Yan is a fine ice DPS unit. I think he still has a few problems though with this kit, but Encore I think is a very great bursty fusion DPS unit that you could bring onto your account. I'm going to put Lin Yan a little bit lower than Encore though, simply because I don't like his full in air aerials and I find it's really easy to get one tapped by enemies while using it. The same thing can be said of Verena, but the thing is Verena is not a hyper carry unit. She's not a main DPS unit. So you're using her slightly differently than Lin Yan in that case anyway. So I would still put him a little bit lower than Encore in that case, but both honestly are totally fine. There's no really bad units in Wuthering Waves that we've been able to see so far. Everybody or every character I should say does their job well enough that everybody is totally usable and that includes the four stars but we're talking about the five stars right now so who i think it really comes down to when you're making your decision on your account is i think it comes down to junshin and verena why is that supports last typically way longer than the main DPS units and the supports have way more flexibility of the teams that they can be a part of. While main DPS units have may have a more limitation on what supports work well with them, supports have more variability of the teams that they can be a part of, if that makes sense. Perfect example is Verena. 
Verena has two big value adds that she brings to the game. One, she is a healer, so if you've been struggling with some skill issue and you need a little bit of a healer to kind of get you through the full battles because you're not able to perfectly dodge all the time or parry all the time, then she's definitely going to be a big help in that way. But the other thing that she offers is on her outro skill. On her outro skill, all characters on nearby teams gain 15% all damage deepen for 30 seconds. That's not just the next character that swaps in, that's the full team. That's really good to note because some characters buffs only buff the next character to swap in but because she has it for the whole team she can be swapped in to give a buff before swapping to another support to give a buff so that is something that's going to enable not only a big amount of damage to be added into that but also the ability to synergize even better with another support on the team as well making your hyper carry do a ton of damage that's a big deal that's a lot of damage when you're fighting some of these stronger bosses and you're just needing to get every ounce of damage you can to get the boss down as fast as you you can that all damage buff is huge and it does a lot for your account however I think Jianshin also adds a lot of value for some slightly different reasons. While Jianshin doesn't necessarily give the same degree of all type damage boost, she also still brings a lot of utility to your account. Jianshin is able on her intro skill to bring targets into range, as well as on her outro skill, be able to give you additional resonance liberation damage of 38% for 14 seconds. So she also is great in that case. If you're, a if you're somebody who likes Tao uh, Tao Chi, you like having a built-in counter into the kit of the character, that is also what Jian Shin provides. She provides the ability to counter units using her skill, and honestly, she looks great. I think, inarguably, of all the characters in this list, at least of the female characters, Jian Shin is the clearly head and shoulders, literally and figuratively, above the rest in terms of overall design. So I think from a design perspective, I think from a utility and CC perspective, she adds a lot. But on top of that, she also adds the ability to shield your team. And while yes, she Shields on the higher, higher end of combat aren't going to be super great. You can still be one tapped even through shields in some cases, depending on the difficulty of those bosses. But she also offers the ability for healing as well on her kit. Is she going to heal as much as Verena? No, but what she loses in the amount that she can heal, she can gain with the shield and her CC abilities along with it. Now you could put a healing set on Jianshan, obviously to boost some of that healing ability more. However, she is a more of a jack of all trades support with a little bit of CC shielding and healing all in one, as well as the ability to still do a little bit of damage on her own and have a great style and flair along with it. So if you have Verena on your account already, I think John Shin is a fine pick. If you have Kalkaro on your account already and you're missing Junshin and Verena, I think you could totally pick either one of them as well. Me personally, I have Verena and I am missing both Junshin and Kalcharo, or Kalcharo, however you would like to say that. So that actually puts me in a bit of a predicament. Do I go with Kalcharo because I really plan on pulling on Yin Lin, or do I go with Junshin? Well, in this case, for my five-star selector, because I'm playing the characters I want to play and I like to play, I personally will be picking Kalcharo as my five-star selector because I want to have him as a main DPS for my Yin Lin team, and I think there's more value in that, especially considering I already have Verena. But I also am doing that because on the the selection banner that you have access to after the novice banner, I'm already getting very close to the pity on the guaranteed selection banner. So I'm going to be swapping that from Calcharo over to Jianshin. So then I can have Calcharo, Verena, soon to be Yin Lin in a couple weeks when she certainly comes, but also Jianshin from any of those additional illustrious tides or pulls that we're going to get. So I would have all four of them on my account. And I think that's probably the best combination for at least my account. But I think if you want to pick between either of the supports, I think that's a great pick. Again, meta is temporary always take that in mind meta will continue to shift as the game continues to expand and the roster of characters continues to expand but supports usually outlast the main dps units a little bit longer than that the same can be said of sub dps and support units because they usually complement better than two hyper carries being on the same team if that makes sense so i will be picking calcharo because i'm playing for fun but Jianshin and Verena, I think, are both fantastic picks if you're looking to round out your account. If you're missing both of them, I think a pickup of either of them would be great. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you going to be picking based on more of a meta pick or are you going to be picking more on a waifu pick or a pick of a character you just like a lot more? 
I'd be interested to know your comments down below. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate you. Shout out, shout out to all the patrons who support this channel and shout out to all the subscribers on Twitch that have been supporting me there. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.